guys because yes I know that guess the YouTuber thing yeah and if you guess Nathaniel Bandy for today you correct shout out to Robert by the way thank you Robert for subscribing to me can you please add me to the, your squad thanks so anyway I'm like gonna be this is too low, and of course it is. Sorry, low, low. You want to see the camera? Low, low. No? Okay. Just gonna get my lunchbox stand. Wait. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Now, let's watch one of his videos. Oh, it's the Nathaniel. Oh, it's the him. Flat top. Flat to top. There he is. Shouts to him. Making this video possible. Let's watch how his new Survival's user looks. If you want to create a beautiful website, use Squarespace and save 10% using the code Nathaniel. Stay tuned for more info after the video. New Super Mario Bros. Stupid Super Deluxe has more to offer beyond the main game, and that, of course, is all the challenges. I know the boost block stages aren't in the Switch version, but I never found any of those that hard, and Deluxe just looks a tad bit better anyway. But regardless, each level in this challenge mode could be considered difficult if we're basing it off getting a gold medal, so this is based more in a general sense of what the task is and what the obstacles are. So without further ado, let's go! Our first level involves lots and lots of climbing. Stone Slide Tower Climb has you completing the castle from World 2 in under 90 seconds or less. And for most of the challenges, you aren't going to be allowed to get hit at any point, so it's good to keep that in mind as an extra barrier that Mario has to endure. Now normally, this level isn't that bad if you just take your time and kill enemies along the way, but obviously you can't do that here. If you make one or two mistakes, you're either not going to make it to the top or it'll be a really close call. And since you have to move fast, it makes it a lot easier to make dumb mistakes like falling into the sand or running into an enemy and things like that. You kind of just have to learn how to create your own shortcuts, like spinning these wheels for like a second instead of just sticking the whole platform out like you'd normally do. Figuring this out and improving your time is quite thrilling and exciting, but it can also be frustrating when you keep dying over the dumbest things. The end is definitely the hardest part, because the wall jumps you have to do to get up faster than usual can be quite tricky to pull off correctly. This one is so high on the list because there's only some moments where things can get complicated. A lot of the stage just requires well-typed jumps and nothing beyond that. And believe me, we're just scratching the surface. 
I really debated on putting this one on the list, and some of you may not agree, but I oh. freaking hate the Haunted Propeller. This is probably the shortest okay. challenge on our list. You basically have to beat the level in 50 seconds or less while using the propeller suit. And you might think that using such an OP power-up would make this really easy, but as we've already seen, there's circles of booze all over the place. And some of them detract and expand, making it harder to predict their movement. While I've completed this challenge a few times, the sheer nature of the propeller suit requires you to understand its physics perfectly and having a great reaction time too. When you fly up into the air, you fly and shoot off like a goddamn rocket. With some practice, the first half of this level isn't that bad, it's the ending that grinds my gears. You go up a few floors and there's like three or four of these circling boos that overlap with each other, so you have to perfectly time your propeller jump or you'll get hit and have to start all over. Depending on when you get to this part, it can either be easy or insanely hard. Maybe I'm just bad at using this power-up, but I found myself constantly getting hit by booze when I felt like I was far enough away from it. You ever seen those videos where YouTubers try to not collect coins? You may or may not have. Castle Coin Bypass basically introduces the idea through this challenge. The goal here is to not touch a single coin. However, you are allowed to grab five, but you get penalized the more you grab. You'd think this wouldn't be that big a deal, but the coins are put in some of the most ridiculous places, especially on these swinging platforms near the beginning. Like, look at how precise your jump has to be to avoid all these. It's ridiculous! You can use dry bones to hop over these particular coins, but your timing has to be immaculate to make that happen. The middle part of the level is just as ridiculous, as you have to avoid fireballs and carefully time your jumps to avoid those stupid evil coins. Even the question mark blocks have coins in them, so you can't hit those either. But with that said, I found the ending to be the easiest. The coins weren't placed that awkwardly, and I just had to make really tiny jumps to get through it. This isn't the worst avoiding coins challenge in the game, but there's some parts that make me want to chuck my controller into the backyard. Yep, just like that. I'm not gonna lie, I feel pretty screwed over half the time I'm playing Screw Top It Up. This is another challenge where you're climbing a tower and you gotta do it under 90 seconds, but the enemies this time around are much more gruesome. Most of the time you have to spin yourself on these screw-based platforms, and to get through this level at all, you need to spin pretty optimally or you'll lose too much time and not make it. You gotta avoid all these boneheads that shoot spikes through their shell if you get too close, and there are so many sumo bros. Now, sumo bros can't be stepped on, they move erratically, and when they stomp their foot, waves of electricity shoots underneath, killing you instantly if you touch it. The movement I have to do for this stage requires much more precision than any of the other levels we've talked about. It's like this part here, system. the fastest way i found to get through this is That's... to jump on this coin block and spin jump at That's just right. the right time so I can avoid the sumo bros and the bony beetle. That's way too there long. really aren't that many shortcuts. Sorry for not completing the video, it was just too long to me. But I'll make it up to you. So jump. Bye. Look at that the rest of the video in the next video I'm doing. While we're at that, let's just talk about stuff. Yeah. I actually wanted to do it like every autumn day, Monday. Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, those. Those days. So yeah. Thank y'all guys. It's not 10 minutes yet though, so I'm gonna have to do something. Okay, I so I'll have the pets on. I just have underwear. If it's my first video, well, as well as make it for me for not having underwear. That's cool to have underwear. Underwear is for cools. Yeah. So. Don't get tired of me wanting to make more shouts. I just want to respect everyone. And eventually, I'll get more subscribers. Subscribers. Subscribe. 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 Okay.
Okay. Thank you all guys for watching. Don't like and subscribe to my show, to Isabel's show, to my mom's show, to Fanny's show, to Robert's show, to basically all the shows I cover in my videos. Bye!